So I spend months in the mountains, literally a year. And over the time that I've been hunting in the mountains for over 25 years now, there's, I've always played this little game of, you know, when do I get up and move versus how long should I stay and continue to glass? And over the years, I really learned that I don't have to spend a whole pile of time in one location just glassing until my eyes bleed. I can really pick apart the side of a mountain face fairly quickly. Like probably within the first five to 10 minutes, I've covered 95% of what is there. Now, sure, I can spend another two hours and I might turn something up that is hidden behind a rock or you know bedded down somewhere that you just can't see it or the shadows or the light the way the sun is shining you just can't see that animal but you know if you're trying to maximize coverage i can pretty much do it with my 10 powered binos in a very short period of time so when i'm stone sheep hunting it's a little bit more challenging a little bit different you do need to spend more time because often those stone sheep are in the timber or they blend into the rocks much better than a doll sheep. But certainly if I'm hunting doll sheep, I can cover 95% of that mountainside probably in five to 10 minutes. And that extra 5% that it takes to cover it all is probably not worth it. So I do tend to get up and I tend to move a lot more and maybe I cover the same side of the mountain but just from a different angle. And by the time I've I go out of sight of that, I need to feel confident that I probably got it 99%, that there isn't something there. Now, that's not always going to be the case, but that's kind of what I shoot for. But with the knowledge that I can pretty much cover 90% of that in the first, you know, 10 minutes. So then it becomes a decision to stay and really cover it and make sure that you're 100% you know confident that there's nothing there or pick up move to another face and hammer it quickly and just keep moving keep moving and covering the distance now last year is a perfect example we spent 12 days in the mountains and we probably um, spent a little more time than we needed to because there was snow and the psychology of snow in the mountains and especially you know snow packs here and there and all over as the hunt went on the snow continued to melt which actually created another challenge because now there's you know sporadic snow the size of sheep so that was that was particularly challenging but i still think that i spent too much time glassing when i could have been moving more you're always learning you're always trying to pick up new things and for this year we're really going to utilize moving faster and covering as much as we can in a short period of time knowing that we're probably not going to get 100 percent coverage we may have to hit it from a few different angles in order to do that and that's how we're going to hunt this year and really see what see what the benefit is because i always used to hunt like that but i wasn't as proficient a glasser like 10 years ago it just takes a lot of time and a lot of practice the more practice you know you put behind the glass just like the amount of training you do physically to get yourself prepared for a mountain hunt if you can do the same thing with binocular time or spotting glass time whatever it is then you're just going to be that much better when it comes to putting uh, boots on the ground